All right. So um, uh, when I, you know, uh, I was lucky enough to meet uh, Dr. David R. Hawkins, who had transcended about 23 of his own illnesses through using spiritual principles. Um, he had, uh, he had uh, Bill Wilson, founder of the 12 Steps as his sponsor. He did, I'm also aware there's a photo online of him and Bill Wilson and um, Alan Shipman all together. So anyway, he, he also started up an attitudinal healing center where many people with grave illnesses like cancer, AIDS recovered. He recovered from 23 illnesses and I was guided to meet him and I applied all the principles and all my illnesses uh, left through counseling beliefs, studying um, Dr. Hawkins' work. He's got some great stuff in his books on illness and uh, doing A Course in Miracles and uh, doing the 12 steps, especially from A Course in Miracles Lesson 14, God did not create cancer is not real. And, uh, you know, I cancel my belief in cancer or whatever it is, Alzheimer's. But uh, it was also, I was also guided that I can also do this for others. And it also has the power, if there's permission, to clear illnesses in other people as well. So I once did that with my mother. I was just guided. I was really, I felt sorry for her. The doctor had said, there's nothing you can do. You've got heart failure. Your legs are swelling up. Uh, there's no medication. Sorry, just go home. So I was so upset. Uh, my mother was so upset that the doctor hadn't offered her any treatment or any hope that I started doing God did not create oedema in my mother. I just kept saying that over and over again. And uh, uh, and uh, I kept saying that over and over again. And within a day, her, her swelling was going down. And within a few days, it had gone. And, and what was quite miraculous was that I was, didn't want to say anything to her because I did all my spiritual stuff in private. But when she came, she was showing me her leg. And it was almost like she intuited it that somehow I was... Um, having an effect on her leg that was doing something even though I didn't mention it and she was really happy that the swelling went down so then I knew of course don't just don't just cancel beliefs and do God did not create thing just for myself and all my illnesses is miraculously left by by God's grace uh, I can do it for my mother and my, fa and my family and I have been doing it you know like God did not create Alzheimer's in my father it's not real uh, God did not create uh, weakness and forgetfulness in my father, so it's not real. God did not create low, low levels of glutamate in my father's brain, so it is not real. So I found, you know, I did a lot of research of what is Alzheimer's, what are his, his symptoms, and I do God did not create it, it's not real, for a whole list of things and symptoms. And when I, my experience is when I'm doing it more intensively for him, because I do prayers for myself as well and other things, um, he shows signs of being a lot better on those days. And when I'm doing less, I can see that his, his condition deteriorates. So he's got quite a heavy condition. So it just my experience dealing with trying to cancel it is that if I do quite a lot of um, cancelling and God did not create for him on a daily basis, he tends to be in a much better shape, remembers things, walks around and looks a lot happier. Okay, I'm going to stop the